Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came in to show you guys how you can share a folder on Windows 7 in very easy steps. Now remember that a lot of you guys are saying when you share a folder it will actually shows right away. For a lot of us since we did set up security matters it will give us some little hard time. Now what I'm trying to show you guys is precise and it will work so I do not want to waste time. Let me just get into this. What you need to do first is just click on start and on a search type user space and then or. The first thing that comes up it says add or remove user accounts. Click on that. Once this comes up it will give you a little list of users and at the bottom it says create a new account click on that and once you do that it will give you a name so you do need to create a new username so I will name it XPMC and a standard user will be there and you're going to click create account take a few seconds and you will have a user account now we need to set up a password so click on the user account itself it will give you a new list second one will say create password click on that and you can set up a really long password but since I'm trying to make this video I will make it really short and very simple password so I will just name it PASS pass and I'm not gonna put any hints if you do want to put one you can this way if you forget you will just find it very easily so I will just click on create password and that's it what we need to do now is just get out of this we need to go one more place and this one is called it's called manage advanced sharing settings so you will click on that and now it will give you a set of settings settings. This part is making it very mandatory in order to set it up. Make sure that you turn on the network discovery. This is most of the time you guys are telling me when I go to XBMC I cannot find my network. Well this is why. Make sure that's turned on and then under file and printing sharing if you do have a printer you can put it on except that you can turn it off. The third part of it says public folder sharing. I always leave it on. This way it will be shared. The other part is says media streaming. Now I didn't set up anything here since I am not going to be sharing it something like what Windows those media center itself. This is Xbox Media Center that I want to set this up with so we don't have to worry about this part. File sharing connection. There is a support for 128-bit encryption. Now I'm not going to put that on. I'm just going to put it on the little one. This way it is just internal and it's not going to go outside on the internet. This is just for myself. And it says password protected sharing. I did turn it off just in case if I can get in without password I will love that. And home group I just turned that on and I said allow. This way we can see the files. So that part is done. There is another part for public now remember I'm not going to make a public sharing so I'm not going to put this part on but it will be exactly mimicking the top part for the home group. Once this is done you can click save changes and just get out of it. Now we will add and we will share a folder. Now I do have a bunch of folders and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to share one of them here. So I will share the backdrops. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it and then we will choose share with. We will go to specific people. Once it came up what you need to do is there's a little drop down menu. We will select XBMC and we will click add. We will leave it on read only. That's all we need and click share. It will take a couple of seconds and you will see the name. Now we're not done yet. What we need to do now we got to make sure that this one is shared. So what we will do is we will just go to an explorer. So you can right click and it says open Windows Explorer. You can do that and what we will do is we will drag down and we will find the network itself. So if you click you will see your name. So if you double click on that computer name you will see backdrop is already there and it's shared. So now now you are set. So today I came out to show you guys how you can share a folder on Windows 7 so you can share it on XBMC. I hope you guys like my video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, comment on the bottom, make sure you subscribe our channel and visit our new website. Also make sure that you follow us on Twitter. We do have a new Facebook page. Make sure you follow us there too. And if you do like it, just click a like button on the Facebook also. Thank you again.